Guys, big news. I am going to Los Angeles in March because I've been nominated for Speedrunner of the Year at the Streamer Awards in Los Angeles. So I'm going to get to meet a lot of other streamers and I'm also going to hopefully win. There's been an ongoing voting process for the awards and originally I'd kind of hope that I'd get nominated for sports streamer of the year because Trackmania counts as a sports game. However, just a couple of days ago, they deleted this category because uh, people voted non-sports streamers. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, oh well. Unfortunate. We'll go again next time because I thought, yeah, I'm probably not getting in now. But the cherry on top is that when the voting process uh, was announced, right? I scroll down on this list of streamers. And what do we see? If we scroll down here to the best speedrunner category. Oh shit. We're there. We're there. And the competition is fierce. It is simply myself, Atrioc, and Smollett. And one of us will take this one. Simply, of course, the previous world record holder in Super Mario 64. Atrioc, the Hitman legend. And Smollett, Minecraft and Pokemon Extraordinaire. Also famous for his Mario this Odyssey runs fun, back dude. in the days. I'm gonna be straightforward with this. If you wanna help me win this award, and if you think I am the best beginner of these four, then then please vote for me. Uh, I think I think we're gonna struggle because it is a numbers game at the end of the day. But if you want me to win, then I really appreciate it. But I thought we should uh, do our due diligence as well. I'm gonna go through all these categories and vote for who I think deserves to win each other nomination. So uh, let's get started. Best Battle Royale streamer. I'm confused why uh, we aren't listed here. Doesn't Cup of the Day count as Battle Royale? Uh, I don't really watch a lot of Battle Royale streamers, I will say. But I know ACU played Trekmania for like two hours once upon a time, so I think he's cool. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna vote for ACU. Best GTA RP streamer. I did not watch a lot of GTA RP as well. Although I will say, if there's one streamer I'd watch doing it, this it is, is XQC. Weird. I thought I think he's very okay, entertaining. Best League of Legends streamer, okay. Lily Pichu, Tyler, Emiru, and Doublelift. Now here I actually know all four streamers. Uh, not that I've watched them a lot. There's a League streamer I really like. He's called Baus, and he plays like Gragas and um, that other champion. He's cool. Fine. I'm probably gonna vote Tyler here. Best FPS streamer. Streamer that creates the best content while playing first person shooters like Overwatch, Halo, Call of Duty, and Counter-Strike. I think you're gonna find, just based on this list, that I've, I watch a very like small group of streamers. Because I haven't been watching a lot of the FPS content this guy's either. Sigma is there was good. the Rust meta, yeah. where I watched like Shroud, and he, yeah. I, I think Shroud has been the best for me out of the ones that I've seen. That's just chatting streamer. Okay. Streamer that regularly does just chatting content, such as conversing with chat, reacting to news and videos, arts and crafts, telling stories, hanging out, and the like. Uh, here it's a clear vote for me, and it's Wubby. <laughs> it's Wubby. I, I like his shows. He had um, prices scuffed which was very entertaining. So I'm gonna vote uh, Wubby. Although this man is pretty uh, pretty Sigma, I think uh, I think Wubby made the coolest content. Best VTuber, I, I don't partake in watching their streams. <laughs> At least not on my main account. But I've seen that uh, Iron Mouse's uh, subathon uh, recently. That's really cool that she has had so much success and even over 100k subs. So I, I'm gonna go uh, Iron Mouse. Strategy game streamer. All right, so you got Northern Lion, the Super Auto Pets Mastermind, Boxbox, Box, who... Did he win Pog Champs? The chess tournament? Skara, TFT, and this guy's toast, like, Amogus. If Boxbox Box won, um... Won Pog Champs, I'm inclined to vote him. But I don't know if he did. Northern Lion is good, though. Boxbox Box streams TFT? Oh, is that why he's on here? Northern Lion won Pog Champs? Northern Lion, you can't just say one of them played Trackmania, because that's bi- that, I'm biased like that. I'm very biased. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly biased. Ah, okay, well, yeah, Northern Lion. Best ASMR streamer. And we have Foxenkin, Katrin, Skeptical Pickle, and Amaran. Streamer that provides the best ASMR content. I will say I don't watch ASMR streamer, and I feel it would be unfair to vote. So I think we're gonna 
skip this category. Best music streamer. Okay. Oh, this is the rap guy. And this is T-Pain. Seth Drums, I haven't really watched. And Lily Peach. I think this guy's really cool. I saw him at... Was it Ludwig's talent show? Or Miskiff's talent show? Welcome to Someone had a talent show and this guy was insane. It was really good. <laughs> G, who is Jay? Thank you for gifting a sub to Ammo. It was Austin's talent show? Yeah, th I, I think this guy's really good. I want you to adopt me. Best chess streamers. Now this I actually watch. And this is a stacked category. We got Gotham, Levy, who makes really good videos. I like to watch them, even though I don't really play chess. Because he just presents it in a really good way. Nemsko, I don't really watch. Hikaru, I used to watch a lot when the chess meta was uh, was hype. And then the Botes sisters, who uh, we encountered at a chess bar in Oslo. <laughs> I feel like they played such a great game at the chess bar in Oslo that we should vote for Botes. Chess streamer of the year. Best speedrunner. So I'm gonna refrain from voting, but vote for whoever you think deserves it the most. Vote for yourself, everyone does. I feel weird voting for myself because I don't necessarily wanna just claim I'm better than these guys. They all make good content. That's why I just get you guys to vote for me instead. <laughs> ah, screw it. All right, we're voting. Best philanthropic streamer. Philanthropic? Philanthropic? The, the just outright uh, from personal experience, the initiative that they have at Healthy Gamer uh, GG is incredibly good. They do so much good work. Jacksepticeye does a lot for charity. Rambu, I think, also does a lot for charity. And Dr. Lupo is kind of known as like the charity guy. But yeah, Dr. K, they make great videos. I like them. Gonna vote for Healthy Gamer. Best variety streamer. That is a huge category. Disguise Toast, Valkyrie, Ludwig, and Moist Critical. They're all really great at it, but I think Ludwig is the best at it. Just in terms of like all the different ideas, like the, the, the range of what he does. It's like... It's pretty crazy. I, I think it's lovely. 20. Best streamed event. Oh, these were all big events. Germa's Dollhouse, the Balloon World Cup, ShitCon, and the Price is Scuffed. I really liked the Price is Scuffed. I thought it was a great show. But scale-wise, I think the Dollhouse was like the most impressive one. And a lot of people really enjoyed ShitFest too. Uh, ShitFest. <laughs> That's my Trackmania brain. ShitCon. Yeah. Shitfest is a great event. Why isn't that on here? I'm gonna vote for the prize scuffed. <laughs> League of their own. So these are streamers that stand out in some way. Some unique traits. This guy's crazy. He has like a warehouse and he does so much uh, visual stuff. Really impressive. Kipoga, the scam call guy. Also very unique concept. Jerma, uh, dollhouse, not to mention all the other things he does. And then Ebai, who, I mean, he's a Spanish, Spanish streamer, but he's the biggest streamer on the platform, I think. With their creativity and out of the box thinking, they're a trailblazer in the industry. Someone who relies on themselves for their own content ideas and is genuinely in a league of their own. It's probably Jerma, honestly. Uh, the Dollhouse is a crazy project. Rising Star Award. Up and coming streamer that has had tremendous growth over the past year and has the potential to be a top streamer. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to vote for uh, my man Stance. I really enjoyed uh, playing... Um, playing Bros vs. Pros with Stance. And lastly, streamer of the year. The best overall streamer for the past year. They saw great success with their entertaining content, elevated their brand and in general, left their mark on viewers. This was their year. I think it has to be uh, Ludwig. Everyone grew because, I mean, Twitch grew as a whole by like twofold in 2021. But Ludwig subathon, like all the different content he did, really wildly impressive. So that's my votes. I voted, uh, you should vote as well. I'll link it in chat if you, uh, you want to vote yourself. If you guys didn't hear, we are flying out to LA uh, March 12th to be part of the crowd. And uh, if, you know, if I win, then I go up on stage and accept the award. This guy's Sigma is Would be awesome. insane. It's gonna be tough, but maybe we can get there. Thank you anyways.